Hey guys, how you doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of the Platinum 4K Cinema, the Future Tech 4K, and also to the Fusion Silver, Fusion Black. Now we're going to be doing a very interesting demonstration. Uh, one of my business partners have acquired some screen paint from a certain individual, but I'm not going to say the name of the person. Uh, but I want to show you something very interesting you're going to find absolutely um, interesting. Now, like I said, you get what you pay for. If you pay for a cheap product that's been untested, um, you're going to get what you paid for. You're going to get a very dirty picture. Um, if you basically work go with a product that has been tested, that has a very high performance rate uh, and can back it up 100%, especially in well-lit environments, then you have a very you have a very good superior screen, you have a good product. You want the best when it comes to your home entertainment system, especially if you're going to spend money for a projector and everything else for your home theater setup. Wouldn't you want a screen to look just as amazing as your projector? So. This is some screen paint we have purchased. I'm not going to say who it's from. Uh, we got a light version and a dark version of the screen paint. Now, just to show you up close the demonstration sample sheet we have against the screen paint, we have the Supernova DMP. Now, mind you, the Supernova DMP is a $5,000 screen. Uh, the screen is a very a superior surface. We're going to do this with a long throw. We are about um, 11 feet from the screen. And we're going to show you exactly the difference between when you purchase a cheap untested screen paint versus a uh, Supernova DMP. Now mind you, the Supernova DMP will be going against our 47AG. Uh, just to mind you, a hundred inch of that screen would cost you around the range of $1,900. All right, so let's start this first. All right, so we're going to do this on skin tones. Let's remove this. And as you can see already from the door, that DMP Supernova gives off a more superior picture than the um, screen paint mix. All right, so let's start this right now. Now usually when some pe people do these demonstrations, they don't do them properly and they kind of uh, use a lot of smoke and mirrors to make their screen look superior. Well, now we got it over here where I do a lot of testing at and we don't do smoke and mirrors over here. Now let's pause it right here. Look at the color tone. DMP Supernova untested screen paint. So you think you're getting a superior picture, you're not. Look at that, up close. That's what skin tone is supposed to look like, not like this. All right. Now, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go back to this particular part right there. And I'm going to come over here, use the 47AG, which I have right here. I'm going to take this off, the DMP Supernova. I'm going to remove this if I can get it to go off. Here we go. I'm going to remove this from the screen paint mix. Take that and put that right here. Put our screen in front of it the 47 AG and then we're going to take the DMP Supernova we're going to put it right in the center to show you how superior our screen is compared to the Supernova and compared to the uh, untested screen paint that would be purchased all right the camera looks well now there we go Now, mind you, that's a 47 Future Tech AG, which is brighter than a DMP Supernova.
and look at the screen paint. Now let's go back and pause it right there and let's have a look. Now, if you notice the 47AG, the future tech screen is brighter than the DMP Supernova. The DMP Supernova is brighter than the so-called screen paint mix which we purchased. Now you kind of get an idea exactly how we thoroughly test our screens. This is how it has to be done. Um, when you really, when you do these demonstrations, you have to do them against a superior surface. We test our screens against some of the um, most advanced screens on the market. We do them in fully lit environments, and this is the reason why I can come out here and do this demonstration and show you that look. If you take a five, it's a big difference between a supernova and an everyday screen paint mix. Um, this is I'm not going to say the guy's name, but this is his mix. And if you know, if you look at the DMP Supernova laying against it, it blows his screen paint clean out the water. It really does. But when you do, when it, when it lays against our Future Tech screen, which is not a screen paint, it is a uh, compressed uh, uh, surface that actually has a, a kind of a uh, chemical solution uh, intertwined with it, uh, embedded in the uh, surface. You can see the difference between our screen and the DMP Supernova. Now, mind you, a 47 um, AG Future Tech for 100 inches around $1,900. When a DMP Supernova at 100 inches, it's going to cost you around $5,000. And now you see why we had so many NDAs that were basically uh, trying to get attached to this kind of technology. When I mean the Future Tech is a superior screen, it is a superior screen. All right. Let you see for yourself. Now look at our screen compared to the screen paint. Look at that. But like I said, you get what you pay for. If you pay for a cheap product, and I can never understand that. Why would you spend the money for expensive projectors, spend the money for a, a home theater setup, and yet you put a cheap paint on top of it, a cheap untested paint that has really never been put through the uh, rigorous testing to prove its performance rate. So we'll be ordering more screen paints as we go along and doing side-by-side -side demonstrations against the 47 AG. And a couple more projection screen samples. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video demonstration. I'd like to thank you all for watching. As you can see, the 47 AG are future tech screens. We have the Titanium uh, 4K Gold, the uh, future tech 4K Nano Black screen, which is freaking incredible. And as you can see, the superiority of our screens are freaking unmatched. Hope you guys enjoyed this video demonstration. I'd like to thank you all for watching.
that is just freaking amazing look at that I just can't get over how bright and how vivid that screen looks look at this 